Hi everyone! Today I wanted to show you how I made the shadow around the word shadow for Cricut Design Space. Currently you can't do this with Cricut Design Space itself as Cricut does not have the functionality yet. So I wanted to show you how to do this with an outside source and then import it into Cricut Design Space. So firstly, if you don't have Adobe Illustrator, which is a program that creates vector artwork, you will need to use Inkscape. Inkscape is a program that is free to download and use and creates vector artwork and SVG files. You just need to visit inkscape.org and download the version you need, whether it be um, Windows or Apple Mac. Once you have that installed on your computer, you can then start designing. Okay, so in Inkspace, your screen should look like this. And the first thing I'm going to do is type in my text. So I come down to this A on the left hand side and I draw a box on my screen and I'm going to type in shadow. Next, I'm going to come up here to where the fonts are and you can actually browse if you click this drop down arrow. But I know that I'm going to use a particular font. So I'm just going to type that in. And I'm also going to make the point size, um, let's say 200 and click enter. So I'm just going to make that a bit bigger so you can see. I now need to take this from a text object to a vector path. And to do that, I'm going to go up to path and click object to path. If I go ahead and select my entire word, you'll see that there's six individual boxes um, which represent the six individual letters. Now, I don't actually want that. I want it to be one entire word um, and one entire box. So to fix that, I'm just going to select them all like they are. And I'm going to go up to path and I'm going to select union. Now that's created one big box. So all my letters will be joined. Now to create the offset path, I go up to path and then select linked offset and I'm going to change the color down here so you'll be able to see it once it's done. And now on my keyboard, I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm also going to touch the parentheses key. I'll leave a visual to that on the screen so you can see which key I'm talking about. And I just need to click this key until I get a shadow that I'm happy with. And if you would like to make the shadow smaller, you could just press this one here and it will make it smaller. So I think I'll just make it a little bit bigger. And I'm quite happy with that. So from here, I need to save this as a SVG file. And I just go to File, Save As, change the name and save it to a folder or your desktop. So now I'm in Cricut Design Space and I'm just going to go to Upload and Upload Image and browse to where I saved that SVG file and then click Open and then Save. I'm going to add that to my board. And make it bigger so you can see. And there we have it, a perfect shadow. If I go ahead and ungroup it, you'll see that I've got the shadow and the word. All I need to do now is just go ahead and cut it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this has helped you make a shadow. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you again in the next video.